Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to set up a 301 redirect um, and also append a rail equals no follow attribute to your affiliate links on your websites. Um, you, can actually, you can use this for any link on your website whether it's an affiliate link or not but specifically affiliate links Google and Bing have problems um, when they see a lot of affiliate links on a website um, it's a bad sign that you know it's it's very commercial they're um, they know that a lot of affiliates are biased on their recommendations so they don't like to see affiliate links um, too much even if you only have one or two affiliate links on your site excuse me I, I highly recommend um, you add a you do this what I'm what I'm about to show you a redirect with a rel equals no follow it's basically hiding the affiliate link from the search engines but it's doing it in a ethical um, way that is you know within their guidelines so um, specifically Google has actually come out and said we prefer 301 redirects when you do a redirect and we do follow the rel equals no follow attribute which tells them you know don't follow this link I don't vouch for it um, whatever so they basically just ignore it it's not a it's not a, a negative hit on the webs on the you know that URL it's just saying I don't vouch for it so ignore it <clears throat> okay so by doing the two things it makes you pretty safe in the eyes of the search engines as far as affiliate links so how to do it there are several different ways to establish a redirect um, and I'll also show you how to append the rel equals no follow attribute to the actual URL, which is very easy. Uh, but first off, we'll go ahead and do the 301 redirect. So it's very easy. There are several different ways to do it. Uh, most of the different uh, ways of doing it end up doing it, doing exactly what I'm going to show you. They end up uh, modifying the .ht access file on your website. Um, actually, all of them do, I believe. Um, so basically, we're just doing what all these other ones do in in the back end. So if you, you know if you find a tool or a WordPress plugin or whatever it is that creates a 301 redirect, that app is just doing what we're about to do manually right here. So first off, uh, log in to your website. Um, we're using Dreamweaver here. You don't have to. You can use FileZilla or whatever you usually use to edit your pages and upload and download your content. So connect to your website via FTP. Um, browse the files. Look for the HT access file. If you don't have one, you can create one. Just create a blank notepad document and, and name the file name .ht access. Make sure it's not .ht access .html or .php or anything else. Just .ht access and then open it up it should be blank and then you can add your redirect um, command which I'll get into here in just a second if your site does already have one and it contains a bunch of commands in it already just go to the top or the bottom create a space or two and then add your redirect there whatever it is um, you can also do it at the bottom the very bottom after all of the commands just hit enter a couple times and enter your command in this case it was already blank so we will just have our redirect command there. Um, so once you have it open, this is it right here. What you're looking at is a redirect, a 301 redirect. Um, so first off it's saying every time a browser accesses the website they access the HD access file and this first command, the only command in this file, is saying okay there's a 301 redirect. So it, whenever a user goes to this page, or directory in this case, they need to be redirected to this URL. Okay, so, um, and this can be anything you want, just whatever you want the user to see for the URL. So in this case, the URL is going to be familydefender.org slash recommends slash article builder. And whenever the user goes to that URL, they're going to end up here, which is my affiliate link for article builder. Um, and it's as simple as that. That's all you do. You can change this to whatever you want. You could just make it AB or, you know, article builder or whatever you want um, it doesn't matter um, this needs to be the full URL that you want it to go to make sure it's not just the page you know or whatever or it won't work make sure it's the full URL including HTTP colon slash slash um, but for the initial page you don't use the full URL you only use the page or directory so if you're redirecting article builder HTML or just article builder or whatever it is um, and you can just make this up it doesn't even have to exist on your website um, doesn't matter just make sure that's there and that's there so we'll go ahead and try it out here okay so we'll go to family defender dot org slash and let me double check what we had there article builder okay so we'll go back to that slash article 
builder and we'll go ahead and hit enter and it will redirect us to the article builder website which goes through my affiliate link so to make sure the affiliate cookie was set we'll go down and click order and we'll look at the bottom here this is a pay.com product so it shows if there's an affiliate or not and right there affiliate Josh Spaulding so that worked um, it is an effective 301 redirect it did pass the affiliate cookie so the affiliate links good and we're good to go so that's how you do it manually and that's how all of these different apps and you know WordPress plugins and all of them it, um, in the end that's what they do they just take your information and create a redirect exactly like this within HD access so you can either do it like this manually on your own which is quick and easy um, or you can use you know something else that does the same thing if you want to add another one you just hit hit enter and add another one just like that um, you know this one might be for you know the best spinner and then you know you put your affiliate link you know whatever it is there and it will do the same thing you can also do that for old pages let's you know maybe you change the URL structure of your website so you just redirect the old page just the page to the new new page and then the second one would be the entire URL so make sure that this is only the page or directory and then make sure that the destination is the entire URL even if it is a page going from a page on your website to another page on your website still this needs to be the page this needs to be the full URL of the destination and this is the original so this is what the user sees and this is what the user goes to after they go to that URL okay so that's it um, for that um, you can also do this in cPanel so um, log into cPanel if your hosting provider uses cPanel or whatever the control panel your hosting provider uses most of them offer an easy way to do a redirect um, it's right let me go back and show you where to find it so once you're logged in um, let's go home and just scroll down and click redirect and then you can redirect anything you want but the only thing in cPanel is you can't name this whatever you want this actually has to be a page that is on your website so if you want to use an obscure you know something I don't know just some uh, page that you don't have a page for just I guess you just have to create the page I mean you would you just have to create the page if, if you want to redirect it um, we, I do have a page called test.php on this website so we'll redirect that to my coaching program, which is coachingwithjosh.com. <clears throat> um, we'll leave redirect with or without www. Click add. And now if we go to this URL right here, it should redirect to this URL. Okay, so let's try it. I'll go ahead and paste that into the URL bar address bar hit enter and as you can see it did work it redirected to coachingwithjoss.com so that's it for the cPanel um, it's that easy to create a redirect in cPanel um, that's how you do it in you know manually and now let's get into how to do a rel equals no follow attribute so what I'm going to do is just open up a new blank notepad document and we're just going to write some code here so this is a a regular um, link so a href equals and then the URL so in this case if we want people to see article builder right here it would be um, HTTP right there okay so that's the URL and then we want to add the rel equals no follow attribute just like that Okay, and then the anchor text, so we'll use article builder, and then we'll close it. So that is the link code um, with the rel equals no follow attribute, which is telling the search engines, don't follow this. Um, I don't vouch for it, so just ignore it, and they do. Okay, so, so you can compare. I'm going to write the code without the rel equals no follow, so you can compare. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, it's all exactly the same. The only difference is right here. We added that directly after the URL, after the closing, um, after that. We went ahead and added it there. And in this case, this is a regular link without a rel equals no follow. This link would be followed. The search engine was, oh, there's a link. Let's crawl in there and see what's going on there. What that pay? Oh, that's an affiliate link. They'd find out it's an affiliate link. And, um, you know that's no good so adding that rel equals no follow is going to keep them from following that link finding out it's an affiliate link all they're going to see is 
um, this initial URL, which isn't an affiliate link, um, and they don't even know it's a redirect because they don't follow it. So that's it. That will help you um, basically hide your links from the search engines. It's very quick and very easy. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'd be glad to help. Um, this video is courtesy of jlaffiliates.com, Jonathan Lachey's um, affiliate site. I am his affiliate manager. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at josh at jlaffiliates.com, and I hope that helped.